Hi, my name is Amy, and I want to show you how easy it is to use Form Titan Form Builder. I want to go over the basics with you. As you can see, I have four options for creating a new form. Blank, Template, Wizard, and Form from URL. I'm going to choose Blank. I want to start with the main layout. On the left, we have the Elements panel. More than 35 elements organized in three categories, basic, advanced, and widgets. Inside each category are individual elements you can simply drag to your canvas, like this, as well as elements grouped under subcategories, like text elements or input elements. On the right, we have the Properties panel, which controls the settings and the style of the form and elements. Under Form, Settings, General Category are all the basic properties of your form. Here you can give your form a name and a description. In your form settings you can also control what happens when your form is submitted. You can customize a thank you message, configure email, set up integrations, and more. Now let's liven up this form with some styling. You can easily resize the form on canvas or change its size in the Style tab under Size and Position. You can also change the form background to a different color or use a background image. We provide an image gallery you can choose from, but you can upload your own image if you want. As for the elements on canvas, once an element is selected, its properties will appear in the Properties panel on the right. Settings and Style. You can edit the label directly on Canvas or in the Properties panel on the right. For each element selected you can change its style. Here, under Element, Style, you can change the font background, size, position, padding, alignment, and border. Okay, so I want to change my label style. I'm going to make it bigger. Font, green background, and a bit of padding. Elements can be moved freely with your mouse or by using the arrow keys like this. If you want to use longer customized text, you can use the paragraph element. Alignment may be easily achieved. Once an element is placed, in this case a label, Moving another element horizontally below it will automatically display guides to help you place the element in perfect alignment, like this. I want to add two more elements to my form. Name and email. Multiple selection of elements is also available by holding down the control or shift button while selecting the elements with the mouse. Like this. When you select a few elements, you can change their style together as a group. Their fonts, background, size, alignment, border, even spacing. Like this. going to align them left and make their vertical space 30 pixels. 
This multiple selection also enables you to move the elements together and align them with the other elements in the form. Like so. The button settings and style may also be changed. Its background, its color, its size, as well as the text on the button. Okay, so I'm going to change my button text here. and the style here. Font, I'll make it white and I want to make the button bigger. I can do it directly on canvas. Another area I want to show you is the actions toolbar. It's located right above the canvas. Here you can see the available actions while working on your form. Actions like duplicating an element or deleting it. Okay, the last area I want to show you now is the upper toolbar which contains the main operations of the form. Operations like save, work mode, preview, and the extremely important CRO tips, which help you optimize your form. As you can see, when you need to save your form, a message will appear at the top of the screen reminding you to save. So I'll just go ahead and save. And now, last but not least, the final option in the main toolbar, Publish. The Publish option generates the code which actually allows you to embed your form and start using it. Simply copy and paste. That's it for now. Hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.